Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a very brisk day here, but Matt and I wanted to finally, after a year of owning our camper van, take you on a tour. I'll see you inside. Darling girl, won't you follow me home? Tell me it'll be all right. Okay. Now we're in the kitchen and the bedroom and the dining room all in one. So this is where, when we're camping, we eat all of our meals and it's actually original to the camper. We redid all the floors. Um, when we bought it, the ceilings were like this popcorn material that you could literally poke your finger through. So a lot of what you're seeing was redone in here, but this is all original except that these were reupholstered and obviously I picked orange, which is like, Super predictable. There's actually a full closet. Um, well, I say full, it's still kind of small, but it's pretty big for a camper this size. Another really cool thing that we loved about this camper is just the amount of storage up here. Like, we've got diapers, we've got all of our cooking supplies up here. We've got... Publix bags for when we get groceries, when we're staying in here. We've got spices in here, we have a stove. So it's like when you're living in the camper for a few days, it doesn't feel chaotic. Like we've rented um, a VW Westphalia van in California before and we were constantly like moving things around just to have living space. Whereas in this camper, there's so much storage. So that was really a huge selling point for us on this particular model. This is actually Hudson's bed. You're looking at it up here. I'll get up here and show you how big it is. This is big. <laughs> so in the sleeping arrangement of this van, we basically take the smaller space and we give Hudson this bigger space up here because we have um, covers on all of these windows and then we have a gate that goes up here so we basically give him like a little cave almost this is the bigger bed but Hudson takes the bigger bed all right guys I'm gonna show you how I make the bed wondering where Matt and I sleep, you are looking at it. <laughs> it's really small, it's very narrow, it's probably I think the size of a twin bed, but we do it for Hudson because <laughs> everyone that's a parent knows that if your kid does not get a good night's sleep then your life sucks. So we take one for the team and we squeeze right here. But it's really nice because we put Hudson to bed just like at home and then we have like our string lights up and we read books and we have wine and we hang out while Hudson is sleeping. Matt is wishing that this is where he actually slept. But it's not. We've actually never slept up there before. So now that Steffi took you guys through all the aesthetic details, I'll show you all the techie nitty gritty of this camper. We have a stove. I mean, sorry. We have a stove. <laughs> The stove is green and we love it. We have it. a sink. We have a sink, we have a stove. We loved the green on the stove. That's one of the original things that we kept. Um, we have a working sink and there's a water tank that's under here. Like a 25 or 20 gallon propane tank that hangs out on the back of the car. And it has to be turned on to work the heater in the stove. I just open the door, open the gas line. It's probably like 50 degrees in here right now and I'm literally shivering while Matt does ah. this. Boom. Well, we can turn the heater on. So the way this heater works is it's actually gas. You hold this button in and it starts to like put, put the propane in here and then you let it catch. Whoa, nice. This thing puts off really good heat. It feels great. 
If you come over here, we have a couple of outlets that work, but we don't use them that much. Um, under here, we have this switch that controls the lights and the outlet and the water pump and all this stuff. So it has two positions. It can go off of the main battery or off of the auxiliary battery. There's two batteries in this camper. And there's also an inverter in here, but we don't really use that stuff. And the reason I don't really use it is because we have these string lights that are pretty good and they provide a good amount of light. They run off of like a, a USB battery. pack. Yeah, like a USB that battery pack. Powers your phone. That we've we just charge it up. In order for me to not have to worry about the battery dying in the night, we just take a bunch of these USB packs and just charge them all before we drive or we go on our trip. And um, and then we can charge our phones and our tablets and run these lights. There's actually an oven, which is really weird. Because... We haven't used it though yet, have we? No, we've never used the oven, but it works. Um, we should have a pizza who... night. The guy who sold me this camper was a rock climber and he said he loved to make peach cobblers. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the stove story or the oven story. We got some sweet gauges. So right now it's 45. But with this heater running, it'll be 60 in like five minutes. This cool thing, which is a meter for the two batteries. You have the main battery, which is the one that runs the car. And then you have the aux battery, which runs the light and the water pump and all that stuff. So you can actually test them. This is, um, we actually bought this camper for pretty cheap and all the like, the stuff on the walls was super gross and the floor was gross. It was basically gross. It was gross, guys. You wouldn't have wanted to sleep in here the way it looked before. I'll, I'll put a before picture up. Yeah, so we basically went to this place called Automat, which is really great, and they do everything in-house. And we got this headliner, which is meant for boats. Well, Matt tried to get this done at a few places. Nobody and wanted to touch it. No one wanted to touch it. It was styrofoam. It was spray foam. It was really weird. They thought it had asbestos, which it didn't. We got it tested. Yeah, it didn't have asbestos. So we got this really cool marine headliner because it's water resistant. Um, and this is also like a marine floor. So it's like... They use it on boats. It's really easy to clean and it's not gonna like soak up water like a gross carpet would. They also color. made us these really awesome blinds out of the upholstery they used on the cushions and they made like a snap system. To end this video, I really wanted to show you guys what the outside looks like because it makes it even better. It's so weird out here. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you around this contraption. We haven't done anything to the outside. It's pretty rusty up here, so that's our next project. But it's not every day you see a 1970s car that looks like this Ponty, this Pon X right here. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along and seeing our camper. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Comment below and let us know your dream car. This is obviously ours and a VW. But let us know your dream car in the comments and make sure to subscribe. All right guys, I'll see you soon, bye.